Garage Sale Mystery Picture of is a really great garage sale mystery film. With this one, I worked out who it was, or I had a strong suspicion, but I had no idea why. So I can't really praise myself for working it out because I didn't really, but there is one character who I thought was rather suspicious. I won't say who it is just now. I might with a spoiler warning, but I don't really have anything to point to with previous garage sale mysteries. If I've suspected a certain character, there's usually a moment or something they say or something they do that, for me, gives the game away a little bit. Not the case here. There was just something about the character. This film was released in 2018. It's directed by Neil Fernley and, of course, stars Laurie Loughlin as Jennifer Shannon. And I'll deal with the subplots really quickly, as is usually the case with Garage Sale Mysteries. The subplots are definitely padding, but they're okay. One involves interviewing various people to get help at the shop, which is fine. It's quite nice to see Danny and um, Jason interacting because we don't see them interacting that much, certainly if Jennifer's not there. So that was a little bit different. I didn't mind it. The people, the interview were relatively interesting. The other subplot involves Logan being offered to have uh, his article, his paper published through the school, and he doesn't want to do it, but he won't say why. So Hannah tries to find out what's going on, trying to get information out of him. I was curious. I definitely wanted to know why he didn't want to have it published. And I won't say what happened, but it was, again, it was fine. It was nice enough padding. The main story involves somebody dying and... They had an antique camera collection. And in one of these cameras, there are three photos. One is a photo that Jennifer accidentally takes. And then there are two photos taken soon before his death. And obviously, one of the photos captures something that suggests the death wasn't natural, that there was a murder. And I won't say what it was. I will say when we see the, the photo, it it wasn't very clear to me. I wish they'd focused more on the photo, even if it filled most of the screen, because the angles that we see it at just aren't that great. And maybe that's the point. They didn't want to give too much away, but I feel like I would have liked to have been able to study the photo in a little bit more detail, but we never really get that much opportunity to look at it. But the actual narrative is really interesting. And as I said, I had my suspicion for who was responsible, but I didn't know why. It was just a feeling, it was just a hunch, so I'm not going to say that I solved this one because I most certainly didn't. I think I've kind of solved maybe two of them. Other than that, I'm usually clueless, but with this one, I at least had a feeling I knew who was responsible, but I definitely didn't work out why. I really enjoyed the process. Even though I had my suspicions, there were one or two other characters I looked at and kind of thought, yeah, you could you could be responsible. There could be a motive there. So I wasn't 100% sure, and I enjoyed the process of finding out more and piecing together bits of the puzzle. And it, it's certainly quite dramatic. It's not the most dramatic garage sale mysteries film. There are some where there are more twists and turns and shock reveals. But nevertheless... It's got enough suspense to keep things moving forward. I enjoyed the narrative. The characters that are introduced in this film are all well-written and some are certainly more likeable than others. But everything made sense. Everything flowed nicely. The pacing was good. The subplots provided nice enough padding. And ultimately, I really liked it. Picture of Murder is not my favourite garage sale mystery film. I still have five left to watch I think and then I might decide which one my favorite is but it could be a contender for a top five list all things considered it's it's pretty perfect no problems everything flowed well they didn't give the game away too soon and the subplots were not not that dull either so I enjoyed it picture of murder is definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of garage sale mysteries might not be my all-time favorite but I still really enjoyed it